Welcome to the vault. This is where we do some straight up coin collecting. I am Tripwire and today we are looking at a couple of coins that Stu's Metal Detecting sent over here. We're going to be taking a look and we're going to figure out exactly what these coins are. They are absolutely incredible. I love them to death. And we're also going to be doing some worldwide coinage. We got a little bag right here. Now, the downfall of this show is that I don't have any coin rolls. I do apologize. I've been able to get to the bank. But we do have a lot of pocket change we're going to be looking at instead. But before we look at anything, boy, that was loud. We got to drink something I've never had before, and I've never drank this. This came out of a Middle Eastern uh, supermarket that just opened up around here. I It says T-A-M-A-R-I-N-D. -I, I don't know what that is. I can't even pronounce it, let alone try to tell you what it is. So, cheers to you. Thank you all very much for watching. Let's see if this is going to kill me or not. I like the way it kind of like opens up. It's got a little tab thingy there. <laughs> but anyhow, cheers. Please be good. Not really. I, can, I, I can't pronounce it, and I can't even tell you what it tastes like. It's not that great. Well, it sucks is that this is like almost $2, so I'm going to have to drink it. But anyhow, I'm going to shut up and let's check out the coins that Stu sent over here. All right, here we go. This is the first coin that Stu sent over here. Boom, look at this one right here. Let's check this out. This is from, of course, the UK, uh, 1966. This is a sixpence. It's made out of copper and nickel. Boom, there's a little lady right there. In good condition, sixteen cents. Uncirculated, one dollar and ten cents. So that's a cool little coin. I absolutely adore that. That one's awesome. And the second coin he sent over. This one is like really, really tiny, tiny. Sorry, Stu. I got to move you over a bit. There we go. Stu will come back. Trust me. I'm in total control. Let's pull this baby up right here. Once again, UK. Of course, goes without saying. <laughs> 1971 this is a half new penny Woohoo! there's a little half with the crown i dig that plain simple very nice it is made out of bronze in good condition seven cents and uncirculated 66 cents so there's that little coin right there and once again Stu's metal detecting get a chance to check out the channel thank you so much for the coins i absolutely love them all right, time to reach into the bag of uh, foreign coins. We're going to do some worldwide coinage. I am going to draw four coins at random, and I will be researching these this week. As soon as I can get this straightened out, thank you very much. We got this one here, that one there, we got this one over here, and that one. These are the four coins that I'm going to be researching this week. Let me see if I can pull it up with this so I can get a better look. Let's see what we're going to be looking at. This one looks kind of cool right off the bat. I actually dig that one. So, yeah, definitely these are the ones we're going to be looking at. But right now, let us go over to the ones from the last time we did this. I can't remember the last time we had a worldwide coinage. But we're going to start with this one right here. Little fat dude standing on top of a brick, I guess. <laughs> it's from India, 2012. This is two rupos. R U P. E E S. This is made out of stainless steel. And believe it or not, there is a mint mark on this. It's that little dot that's right underneath the 2012 date. That little dot is actually the mint mark. So this way you could figure out exactly uh, what the value or whatever the website was telling me. The website told me that in good condition, this is two cents, uncirculated 50 cents. So there's some Indian India coinage for you. Coming up next, we have, boom, look at this one. Oh, the little lemur dude. We've seen him before. He's from Australia. 1971. This is a one cent. Boom. Flip it. Turn it. There we go. This is made out of bronze. In good condition, it is 10 cents. Uncirculated, $2. So you got one of these that are uncirculated. You got yourself a whole mess of money. Like, a lot of money. <laughs> For a penny? Yeah, I'll take $2 for a penny any day of the week. I dig this half penny. I love the ship on that. I don't know why we don't do that here. Once again, from the UK. This is 1955. This is a half penny. And well, this coin is made out of bronze. A very nice looking coin, too. 
In good condition, it is nine cents uncirculated, two dollars and ninety cents. So that is a cool coin. That's definitely something that I like to keep. And last but not least, boom, there we go. We have ourselves from Kenya. Um, for those of you that have been watching the vault for an extremely long time, did, have we ever done a coin from Kenya? I'm going to say no, I don't recall. But this is 1970. This is 10 cents. It is made out of nickel and brass. There we go. There's the dude right there. In good condition, this is 7 cents. Un about uncirculated 50 cents. But to me, it is still cool coin to have in my collection. Really quick, I bet when I was doing some coin rolls, sorry I do not have them. Uh, but I did pull out a couple of things I do want to share with everybody here. Um, as you all know, my favorite penny of all time is uh, 2009. And look at the conditioning on this one. I actually pulled out six of these uh, within two rolls. About six of these. So that is a phenomenal condition. Problem is, is that it was circulated because I pulled out of a roll. So technically... The highest grade this could be, I'm not a professional, just I would say about uncirculated. Absolutely incredible looking coin. And again, I like to hold on my 1960s. I haven't seen a 1960 penny in uh, this good a condition in a very, very, very long time. And if you kind of look, this is actually a off-center coin. What do I mean by that? Um, as you can see over on the back side, we have a wider rim here, and it's like really thin over here. Now, for it to be, oh, let me, let me see. See, it, well, maybe not. Well, it's still off center, but not enough to increase the value. I would have to say that that'd be the thinner side. You go across, there's a thicker side. So definitely a off center. But uh, because I'm an amateur, I'm not a professional. I will still say that this does not bring any extra value to the coin because it's not off centered enough. But it is cool to see it in this condition. <laughs> I actually like that a lot. What we're going to do now is, sorry, all I got is pocket change. So we're going to go through some pocket change randomly. I'm not going to separate them like I always do. We'll see what we can find. Again, I just usually just pull the coins out of my pocket. I don't look at them. I have no idea. So that way I can be uh, impressed just like you guys if we find something cool. 2001. Nope. And I can see something out of the corner of my eye. COVID! The COVID quarter. We got one of those. Yes, I still love the COVID quarter. Uh, we do. Oh, Homestead. That's cool. Homestead. That, that will be part of the error coins that are coming up within this next year. Once a month, I will be doing error coins. So that's going to be fun to do. As soon as I get enough homesteads, we'll be doing that one. Marlon from Mayor Video says that he, that he feels like a peeping Tom every time we do that. Because we got to literally look into the window to find the error. And I thought it was hilarious when he pointed that out. Nope, it's just a regular quarter right there. If you have any suggestions for any of the shows here, the whole two shows I'm doing now. Uh, ooh, 2019. Is this a W? Of course not. Um, all I need to do is put a comment below if you guys got any suggestions for the vault or for straight up metal detecting. Leave a comment. I am willing to try anything as long as it is legal. But yes, uh, in case you missed last week's episode, I am toning this channel down quite extensively. I'm really going to be going, basically just sticking with the two shows that I love the best. There will be other specials that are coming around. Oh God, look at the conditioning. Even if you're a W, I'll still love you. But you're a P, so I hate you. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, there will be specials popping up here and there. I know I'm going to be doing a ELS Halloween. I'll bring it back one more time. So we'll do a Halloween special with the ELS. But uh, I really, it just really started taking a toll on me. And my family, as a matter of fact. When I told them that I'm trimming everything down and I'm not doing live streams, they are very happy about that. Because I guess it was really consuming my life far too much. And right now the family needs me more than YouTube. So, guess what? So, but on occasion I will do a live stream here and there. Just, um, the only two shows that are scheduled are going to be The Vault, like you are watching now. And Straight Up Metal Detecting. 1966, I will hold that. I'll put it over here. So, that's exactly what's been going on. 
So just throw something in the comments below. If there's a coin that you want researched, if you have an idea for the show, just let me know. I'll work it in. I got no problem with that. 75, copper. Have you guys seen what's going on with money? Oh, look at this. Marlon told me that these are actually collectible. Wow, check that out. I wasn't expecting to find this one. Yeah, so if you guys get one of these, definitely hold them. Keep keep them in your collection. If you guys find a bicentennial with a bird on it. Yeah, if Marlon says it's awesome, then it's an awesome coin to have. That's going to go in a special area. This one will blind you. <laughs> 95, nope. Already, so you guys gotta keep an eye on your pocket change, and that's a good reason why. Wow, that's totally hit. Oh, I'm gonna get it right there. I'm not sure if I said this or not. Uh, once a month, I will be doing air coins with the microscope. Oh, there we go, 2017p. Yes, I do hold those, I do collect those basically in almost any condition, unless it's to the point where it's like totally horrendous. 2017, that looks like a D, so we're not going to use that one. One's that South Carolina, nope, don't need that. There's a dime. 1962 or 7? Oh, that's 1967. Crap! <laughs> well, I, I, you know. Gotta look, you gotta look. I thought for, for a minute, I thought that was a 2. Get the microscope, dude. We were, uh, sooner or later, I will be getting some dime rolls of dimes, and we're going to do it that way. Speaking of dimes, 1982. Uh, I know some people have been asking me. I forgot who it was, but somebody asked me, do I ever do a pocket change video? So I'm like, yeah, I've done them before. To me, I'll do any type of coin video. <laughs> I love all the coins. I'm just finding good ones. What do you got here? Boom. Oh, is it a W? I love I love playing this game. Is it a W? No. I don't know why I love playing the game, because I never win. But I love playing that game. Is it a W? Nope. 2018. Let's see, I haven't found a Connecticut quarter in a while. We found a Connecticut quarter. I'm throwing that at SLB. Well, yeah. Nope. Got a lot of quarters. Like I said, I just emptied my pockets into my box, and that's about it. Nope. Don't need her. 95. That's garbage. Ah, if you caught the show last week, we had bird crap in George's hat. As you can see, there is no bird crap in George's hat on this one. So, oh well. That one's just going to get recycled into more coinage. Got here. And now that you look up Anything here, 2002. 1969, we pulled ourselves some copper. Keep an eye on your valuable metals. There's things going down within the... Uh, I don't really want to speak on it too much because I'm not a specialist when it comes to analyzing money. But it uh, looks like India just bought a bunch of oil from Russia in rubles. What that means, it's not good for America. Let's put it that way. So if our U.S. start hoarding all your valuable metals, things are looking bad. But I'm not an expert, so don't take my word for it. I just have friends that send me video clips and keep me updated on certain things. So I don't know. Just keep your eyes open. Start saving. Save whatever you can. Bird crap, George's hat. Nope. No error coin there. Then we're going to do a little bit more. Let's just do a little bit more. Just because we're just not really on a super roll, but we are on a roll. Do just a little bit more. Mystery. Jesus criminy. If anybody can tell me what date this is. Oh, no. That, that doesn't. That sucks because it's 2005. Even I can see that. <laughs> 2020. Is it a W? No. Of course not. Why, why would I want more money? No, that's ugly. Anyhow, let me do this one here. That's one beat up nickel. I've seen worse, but not by much. New Jersey. Nope, that ain't cutting it. Uh, 2023 or 2022? 2023. Either way, I don't need it. Boom. Oh, sweet. 
Boom. Culver's. It's the Culver's quarter, as I like to call it. We're saving that. So, there we go. Uh, Montana. We don't need that. That is beat up to have, I think, it's 75 or 73. We got four more paintings we're going to look at. Got lucky with the 70. Some copper right there. Uh, 2017 P. Yes, I still hold those. I really don't, unless the condition is so bad. Otherwise, I'll hold it. I'll hoard it. What's the worst thing that's gonna happen? I'm gonna break even, right? Right. <laughs> and this concludes another edition of the Vault. Stu, I thank you so much for the coins. They are absolutely awesome, and uh, they're definitely going into the vault, into the collection, and nobody else is gonna see them ever again because. They're mine. Anyhow, always keep in mind that if you are a coin collector, you are never broke. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next Friday for some more coins. Y'all take care.